वेलकम टू डिजी नाउ इन दिस मॉड्यूल विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिसेंट नीट एस एस रिकॉल्स दैट इज नीट एस एस रिकॉल्स फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्सटी टू इयर ओल्ड मेन प्रेजेंट विथ जॉन्डिस प्लोराइटिस अन इंटेंशनल वेट लॉस ओवर टू मंथ्स लेबोरेटरी रिजल्ट रिवील एलिवेटेड बिलोरुबिन दैट इज बिलोरुबिन एट पॉइंट टू मिलीग्राम पर डेसी लीटर अल्कलाइन फॉस्फेटेस इज एलिवेटेड दैट इज टू फिफ्टी यूनिट पर लीटर एंड सी ए नाइनटी नाइन इज एलिवेटेड दैट इज वन फिफ्टी यूनिट पर मिली लीटर मैग्नेटिक रिजोनेंस कोलेंजियो पैग्नेटोग्राफी दैट इज एमआरसीपी डेमोन्स्ट्रेट अलार कोलेंजियो कार्सिनोमा इन्वॉल्विंग द राइट हेपेटिक डक्ट एक्सटेंडिंग टू द कन्फ्लुएंट बट स्पेरिंग द लेफ्ट हेपेटिक डक्ट एंड मेजर वैस्क्यूलर स्ट्रक्चर सो वॉट इज एमआरसीपी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग इट इज डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग दैट देर इज अलार कोलेंजियो कार्सिनोमा विथ इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ राइट हेपेटिक डक्ट एक्सटेंडिंग टू द कॉन्फ्लुएंस बट द लेजन इज स्पेरिंग द left hepatic duct and it is also sparing the major vascular structures the surgical team is planning right hepatectomy based on bismuth correlate classification which type best describes this lesion okay the options are 3a 2 4 and 5 the right answer here is 3a that is the right answer in bismuth correlate classification Type three A hyalur cholangiocarcinoma involves confluence of right and left hepatic duct with extension into the right hepatic duct, but the left hepatic duct remains uninvolved. Bismuth correlate classification guides surgical resection where a right hepatectomy is feasible if the left duct and liver remnant is preserved. Okay, so if the liver remnant is good and if the left duct is uninvolved we can plan right hepatectomy so let us discuss briefly about bismuth correlate classification in type 1a the the tumor involves the cbd below the confluence okay in type 2 the tumor is reaching up to the confluence in type 3a okay so this is the question asked here okay in type 3 the confluence is involved and the right duct is involved But the left duct is uninvolved. Okay, in type three B, the confluence is involved and left duct is involved, but right duct is spared. Okay, if confluence and right and left duct both are involved, then it is type four. Okay, so that is about bismuth correlate classification. So let us discuss about the surgical approaches in these scenarios. If it is type one, you can do local resection. If it is type two, the surgery involves Bile duct dissection with or without hepatectomy. Type three A, it is generally right hepatectomy with corded lobe dissection. In type three B, it is again left hepatectomy with corded lobe dissection. In type four, generally it is unresectable. Okay, and if you are doing left or right hepatectomy, you have to do bile duct dissection and you have to do lymphadenectomy. Okay, so remember the surgical approaches for cholangiocarcinoma. Coming to the other options, option B, type two. This option is incorrect as type two involves only confluence without extension into right or left hepatic duct. The next option is type four. That is incorrect because type four involves both right and left hepatic duct. The last option is type one, which is incorrect because in type one the involvement is confined to the common hepatic duct below the confluence and it doesn't extend into the hilum. Neither it extends into the left or right hepatic duct. 